You guys know the rap song Pop That by French Montana? I love Drake's part in that song. I'm going to read you his lyrics and I'm going to explain why. So he says, we don't dress alike, we don't rap alike. I shine different, I rhyme different. The only thing that you got is some years on me. F you and your time difference. And you can literally apply those lyrics to any field, any position, and any job. Literally. What he's trying to say is it doesn't matter if she bakes cakes, if he's a musician, if he has a podcast, it doesn't matter. Stop comparing yourself to people and focus on you and your path. And if you want to know my top three pieces of advice on how to start a business in 2019, then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna dive right into it. My first piece of advice, and I know it's gonna sound cliche, but it's to believe in yourself. But you hear that all the time, but nobody really tells you, what does that mean? What is the core of believing in yourself? And I'm about to tell you what I think it is, just from my experience. Believing in yourself is to keep going against the odds no matter what so when i was um getting trained to be an office manager the older lady that was kind of like my mentor at the time she told me this and it literally stuck with me forever and she was like once you choose to be in a leadership position which you know once you have decided that you want to be a business owner you've kind of taken ownership of being a leader right so once you uh, want to be the boss, you are going to have to focus on your goals, your vision, and stay on that path no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what obstacles life throws your way. And there's going to be dogs barking always, forever, and you have to ignore the noise and keep going on your path. And who are these dogs? They are fake friends, family members that don't like you, jealous coworkers. They are people that don't want to see you succeed. These are the people that would rather cut their finger off than to give your post a like. That, that, that's who the dogs are. And you have to really love yourself enough to push through all the bullshit and keep going you have to be really strong and be very perseverant to achieve your goals I don't see a business succeeding I don't see a person accomplishing anything if you don't really believe in yourself it doesn't matter if your post is only getting one like two likes keep posting keep being consistent because they see you they see you i hate when people are like well i'm broke or well i got kids don't let your circumstances control your future if you're broke you're gonna be broke forever if you really want this if you really want to be the boss want to be the manager want to be a business owner you're gonna have to make sacrifices you can ask the people in my area on snapchat i was selling makeup my clothes i was having garage sales i was doing all these things just so i could have extra money to buy my materials for my business so don't you ever say well i'm broke then you're always gonna be broke it's all about mindset and don't say, well, I got kids. Newsflash, they're gonna grow up and they're gonna leave your ass. They're gonna leave you in a nursing home. Grandma didn't leave us a good inheritance. Let's drop her off. <laughs> you know, like sometimes you gotta be a little selfish 
but in the end it really isn't selfish because you're trying to do this for your family right you're trying to do this so that you guys can have a better life my second piece of advice is to take advantage of free social media facebook instagram snapchat twitter youtube these things are for free and they are huge platforms i know a lot of you guys don't like kylie jenner but bitch is a billionaire so uh, she knows something or two about making money and in an interview one time she actually said I don't spend a dime on marketing because I use snapchat and Instagram to show people my products to do swatches to talk about the new things coming up I'm gonna be going more in depth into social media hacking as my you know videos progress but I'm gonna move on to my third piece of advice and that is what is your business going to be? If I was like legitimately just starting out, I would really start thinking about the future. Like what are people gonna need in the future? What are they gonna want? And honestly, people are lazy. People are so lazy. They don't even wanna go out into the world and find the, their soulmates anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like they're using Tinder, Bumble, all these social media apps to find love online. People don't even want to go to the grocery store anymore. They're getting their groceries delivered. You also have to be uh, willing to go with the flow. That's why Facebook is still pretty relevant even in this time because they've kind of gone with the trends to make sure that they're still one of the top companies. Blockbuster is a very good example. They were the top dogs and netflix just came and snatched all their customers right under their nose because blockbuster didn't want to go with the flow they didn't want to go with the trends showcase the new movies their prices were way too high and somebody started thinking thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you take those three pieces of advice um and i hope that it helps you in your journey um, please follow me on my instagram pages soapsters underscore shop and nani underscore ink um and i'll see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe